but it's becoming yeah. more and more of a deal like that. Well, Absolutely. How much Twilight models are there now? There are over 30,000 registered members. That's just the registered members. That's not even. And it was like 5,000 before the movie came out, right? Oh, yeah. I, I swear yeah, I remember saying it was like 5, I, at the time I was like 5,000. Damn. That's about, a lot. Yeah. Well, now about, they're 30,000. Exactly. Then I think about a year ago, a little less than a year ago, it was like 85. Oh, man. What is it? 85. 85. No, just 85. Oh, it was like, yeah. I'm number six. You were so, number six. I'm number six. <laughs> you were yeah. like, at number 39,000. Yeah. You're like, second number 39,000. You guys are like, hey, you did this while I was. You're number 28,431. She's like bacon. Remember, like, a day's good news? She's like bacon. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know if you guys know this, I don't know if I told anybody, but when I was up at Sunday, I see I went up to Sunday this year, and when I went up in January, I met up with Julie, who's one of the Twilight moms. She's got to be a super low number, because she's been around forever, and uh, one of her friends. And it was just so nice, because like we were up there at Sundance covering all the movies and stuff like that, and I get this email from Julie, she lives up there near Park City, and she was like, let's meet up, and it was just so nice, and all the chaos of Sundance, like, sit down and actually just have a, have a coffee for the Twilight Zone, just talk Twilight for a little while. Yeah, you know, right. Very nice. Well, I love the little page that we've been doing in the whole band, you know, totally. the older, the older Georgia fans. I'm not that old. Well, I I'm made, not as old as you. I made a little mistake. One time, I was writing an article more for people that didn't necessarily know about Twilight kind of in the early days. Right. And I referred to the Twilight Moms. I shouldn't even repeat this, but I was, <laughs> I, I was just trying to explain. So I referred to the Twilight Moms as even middle-aged people are in the Twilight. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, you're all in jail. No, whatever. Um, but you know, technically it's a middle-aged, like 30 or 50 or something, right? I'm 28, so, yeah. Most of the, yeah. most of the Twilight Moms I met were, like, around 30. So yeah. I figured it was okay, but like, <laughs> you don't want to call a group of women middle-aged. No, yeah. that's like diagnosing PMS. You can't do that. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. So what was your trip to Fort Flex? My trip to Fort Flex was awesome. It was the first time I'd ever been there. And um, so basically, you know, I went up there for the summer school symposium. And you, uh, the one thing that I will definitely take for me most is that it's amazing to think that Stephanie wrote about Forks without ever actually having been there. Yeah. It is amazing. You, you've been, right? I, I have, yeah. Okay. Yeah, amazing. So we were heading up there for the prom on Saturday. We landed in Seattle. We rented a car. We drove up. First off, you get the Navi in your car, and the Navi tells you, like, take a right, take a left, take a right, take a left. And all of a sudden, it said, like, we start driving down the street, and it said, like, pull to the right if you're in line for the ferry. And I'm like, look at those losers taking a ferry, you know? <laughs> and then the thing's like, take a right, take a left, take a right. And I kept cutting the, the ferry line, and suddenly, bam, we're at the water. And, I'm, and, and like, suddenly a state trooper comes running up. He's like, why didn't you stop when I was screaming to stop? And I'm like, uh, we're just looking for the bridge. You know, the Navi says, keep going straight. And he's like, there's no bridge. You're just going to drive through the lake. And I'm like, but look at my Navi. It's like, I'm like, there's a bridge. And he's like, you need to go to the end of the line and wait two hours to get on the ferry. And I'm wow. trying to make the prom, you know. And I, and so good luck telling that state trooper. I need to make it to the Twilight prom. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I that went over well. Yeah, I love that. Well, you know what? Actually, seriously, though, as soon as I said to the state trooper, I go, is this the only way to get the fork? She goes, Oh, Twilight, huh? <laughs> so he totally knew that, you know, oh. heard that people were going up there. Anyway, so then you take the ferry, which is really awesome, across, and you drive up, and suddenly you drive up, and all you see is just a massive tree, and then another massive tree, and then everywhere you see forests, and you, like, swear that you can see, like, vampires and wolves, like, peeking out from behind the trees, and then the, the, the water is just gorgeous, and then suddenly we got a sprinkle. And my cameraman, Dave, he goes, oh, it's starting to rain. I go, damn, it's starting to rain. It's just like, of course, of course, of course. This is why the vampires all live here, because it rains. And then it started to, like, really pour. And I'm like, this is really cool. And then we pull into town, and it's such a cute little town. Population 3,000. But, like, every other storefront is, like, buy your Robert Pattinson cardboard sandwich here. <laughs> buy your bite me lollipop there. Uh, um, and we stayed at the Forks Hotel, which is so cute. And then uh, prom was awesome. I was telling you guys, the Hillywood gang showed up dressed as the characters. Right. I love the guy that dressed up like Robert. He had his shirt open. He was all waxed <laughs> down. Oh, nice. And then my favorite part.